Hello everybody, Swift here again with another backpack you run and today we're gonna continue the story and we're gonna specifically do the shiv build. Uh, yeah, we're gonna most likely do shiv builds today, mostly. And uh, yeah, let's run into it right away. I don't think we need to build anything. Let's just go adventuring. Today we're not playing. Let's go first and let's go with a Coral 1. That's the shiv build item. This here says, select a common item to be duplicated when the combat ends. And I'm forced to have this throughout the whole run inside my pocket. I mean, I can duplicate items and throw them away. So that's not an issue. And I started with a shiv, a hidden blade and a leather cap. So let's actually go adventuring. And let's see how this is going to go. First, we're going to most likely copy a helmet. So this thing, as I said, copies common items then we're gonna go wooden blade uh, the small one so this is a one cost seven damage very small weapon we got a shift zero cost deals two damage but can be used only once every turn so that's two damage for free every turn and then we also got the leather cap that says plus one block each turn uh, and um, for each row below it so right now it's only plus two block let's go to the first fight which is most likely gonna distress oh nope we got a chest right away but a dynamite item so this is placed on the street this is pretty useless uh, for each hazard in this row, adjacent weapons get plus one. Might as well. Acidic potion for 12 damage to everybody, and then toxic kunai for three damage to everybody, and six damage to every poison to everybody. Uh, I would say let's go event see what there is. The event is a spin to win. Uh, do I want to risk this? Yeah, let's spin to win for free. Let's see what we get out of this. And we got a shield. It's a curse, actually. You have been cursed by an item. You must take it with you, or it will be replaced new items that you discover. To escape it, the item must be destroyed, or you must be cleansed of curses. Uh, let's done this. What is this? Why is this a curse? It's a shield curse. On use, adds 10 block. Adds 1 dodge to all enemies. Okay, it's not really that bad. What happens if I straight up just leave? I got a curse. You currently have 1 cursed items. They will follow you until you take them. Cleanse them or find a way to destroy them. Um, yeah, but where's the downside of just carrying that around? Anyway, we're gonna go 12 damage everybody, and then even more damage and poison everybody. Shift this guy, smack this guy, and then smack the little uh, hermit crab. It got poisoned, and we won the first fight. Duplicate item. We're gonna let's say duplicate for now. We're gonna duplicate the hat. I level up. I'm gonna go up, up, down, down. So the hats become extremely powerful. I win. Get items. This goes here, this goes here, and here's the cursed item. Uh, oh, adjustable forever replace one of my items. That's what it does. Does this say hazard? Stay hazard. Anyway, let's bring these up. And I guess bring the curse with us. Uh, this is not a hazard, so... Uh, it's still a shield that blocks for 10. There is no downside to this. Plus one damage to adjacent weapon and it floats. Might as well have it here. And now the shift does one more damage. I uh, might as well flip this so that this also does one more damage. Now both of these do one more damage. And then we also glove a uh, left glove, which is for each column to the right, adds a bit of block. I would like to have it very the right if possible. You know what? This does not matter. We don't need it with us. I would say let's just get the five damage luck and let's go on. Uh, healing, irrelevant. Let's not even go get it. Let's go do the next fight. We got a B. Uh, I'm not, never going to press this. Let's get luck. Smack, smack, done the B. And let's continue attacking. Right now we get eight shield every turn pretty much. Uh, smack, hit, hit, done. I am forced to duplicate a common item. Uh, I would like to duplicate another helmet, but let's continue with the shivs. Now we go into the shiv idea, and we leveled up. So I would say we go here and here for another helmet, and then we're gonna go here and here for the shivs. Done. The floating thing is gonna... Come on, get items. The floating thing goes here, the shiv goes here, and now both of the shivs do get plus one damage. And the uh, next thing I'm gonna duplicate is our leather cap, so we are covered with our defensive needs. What is this? Flaming bangles. Uh, on scratch, add two burn to the enemy. Okay. That's actually really cool for a scratch build. Mysterious letter. There is a little picture of a bird on it. He looks super cool, but you can't read the writing. Someone in Haverstack might be able to. We're gonna get this. And we got the rough whetstone, which really, 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 really fits the build. The whetstone says use one energy to give plus three damage to the adjacent weapons. So it's gonna give plus three to this shiv and plus three to that shiv. It's actually reorganized a little bit here. Uh, in a way where it also hits the sword. Although I'm gonna now be pressing the rough whetstone the three times to give the both shifts plus nine damage, and then I'm gonna throw both shifts for their respective damage. Uh, let's also get the dagger, why not? And let's also get 12 damage to everybody. Or not. Let's actually get the 12 damage to everybody over that. And let's go on. Uh, let's go next fight. Very nice. So we're gonna go damage to everybody. Uh, this is, it gives you luck if you kill it. And we're gonna power up. Now the shift does five, you're dead. Uh, might as well power up again. Although I'm not really sure if this idea is actually the play. Ah, 13 damage here. Nice. Nice. 
Because I can do 7 times 3 and be done with it. But I think powering up the shivs is more powerful. We need more shivs, obviously. Uh, copy something. I could say never mind. Wow. So I could actually not use the mechanic in itself. And we're going to continue going for the shivs. Get items. Let's go here. So we power them even more up. Uh, Soldier's Buckler. This is plus one, uh, plus seven shielding and adjacent weapons gets plus one damage for the combat. Uh, you know what? Wooden Blade doesn't fit anymore. In my opinion, I don't need it. This item has a use in Havis to kill. We're going to get this. It is Whisper's Etching. Legendary Wizard Cap. Removes one on each turn, removes one energy and adds four mana. I'm not going to play mana build. Heal 20 HP, lose 2 max HP. No. Let's get a club. You can use it to weaken opponents. That might be dangerous. Soldier's Buckler would fit in this Chris Shield spot. But then this is going to chase us down. You know what? Let's actually allow it to chase us down. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, I would like to go to the heart. Although it doesn't provide us with anything. And off we go to the fight. Now this Chris Shield, as it says, is going to carry us... Wait. Could I have cleansed it? I don't know how you're supposed to cleanse that. Let's go here. Very nice. We're going to power up. Power up. Yeah, every time I power up, it's as if I'm doing 9 damage. Because it spreads 9 damage across the, the shifts. Then we're going to be like 11, 11, 11. And we're going to get not damaged as I have enough shielding here to protect ourselves. Damage up, damage up. Is this the correct way? This is 15 damage. If I press this, it's plus 9 damage. So actually using 15 over plus 9 is better. Uh, I would say we try to assassinate you. Boom, 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 smack. Nice. And now he's not going to have shield, so we power up twice. And then, once again, we use all of these, plus that. Very nice, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, duplicated damage, uh, an item. I'm going to say the shiv. Level up. Nice. Uh, because this whetstone is actually working out, I would actually say I want the shivs in a line. Because there is an item that says uh, you are able to use the items in a line again. Still, let's open up. Maybe I should open up like this. Let's maybe go here so this can go there in the corner. And then I can maybe duplicate one of those. Uh, maybe a bit to the left again, and more to the left. Done. Get items. Okay, the Chris Shield that's behind us. Uh, we found a Havel stack hill item. You go here, so you power up two shivs. You go a bit farther away, and then the shiv goes here, and this powers up all the adjacent weapons. So we have a plus 12 damage every time I press this, as it gives three damage to four items. That's 12 damage boost. Uh, let's also have an AoE on everybody, and let's continue. I'm not gonna get the... No, no, no. I want... Actually, treasures. Yeah, that's correct. Nice. Uh, we got a lucky ring here, which could maybe fit. This is a bit irrelevant. We're not really playing with hazards. Let's get the luck, and let's go on. Um, let's see what the shop's selling. I didn't even check what the event was. Let's actually double-check the event. The prime of the same rarity. No, thanks. Maybe I should carry the curse from here on out. Let's actually try to carry the curse around over the shield that I'm not using anyway. We have 8 defense regardless. Let's go boom, boom, boom. I would say let's attack the 9 damage boy. 11, 11, 11 and dead. AoE. Pass. 11 coins got stolen. He's going to try to avoid, but he's not going to be able to. 1, 2, 3. And now we do 11, 11. And that 12 and 12. Easy enough. Duplicate an item. I would say we duplicate another cap. I'm going to go boom, boom. And let's carry the curse so I can maybe sell in the shop. I'm not really sure if that's even a thing, but maybe it is. Who knows? It's gonna be I'm not buying curse items. Yeah, it cannot be sold. Uh, he is selling Haven still thing items, so forget the stupid shield. Off we go. Let's carry it with us in the back line. Um, this was actually a mistake. I should have left this here. Oh, I'm allowed to. Nice. Let's go and see if I can switch the shield with this boy. Same rarity. Boom. Nice. Nice. He got rid of the shield and I got a shoe hat. So, shoe hat is if it's at the very top, then it gives us shielding, otherwise it doesn't. Well, here is the very top, so it gives us three shielding, three block. Okay, at this point, I, I'm pretty sure we have enough block to carry everything. I really enjoy that you can straight up be like, no, you keep this. Yeah, like, while I'm having it in my hand, he's like, you bought it, you didn't buy it. Really, really good design. Weapon in this column, get 200% bonus damage, this combat, and then this thing destroys itself. That's for a boss fight. Plus one block, I don't care about that much. Let's go ahead and XP, the left side's better. Also, we're gonna get more shivs. Okay, powering up my shivs. And uh, I think I should kill the 8 damage. We're doing, as you see, we do get a decent amount of shielding now. 
I'm doing 12 damage. I think I have enough to kill this. Or otherwise, I can kill this. I can kill two things. So let's go with two things. Boom, boom. Oh, it's... What? I got mixed up. I thought everything does 12. Well, that was a big mistake. Because now I'm gonna get 8 plus 7 damaged for nothing. <laughs> the joke being that it was not that much of a big mistake. Boom, boom, boom. Toast. Pass. 8 plus 6 once again is not gonna be enough. If you shield for 15 this early game, I think you're super duper safe. Now only the healer is left, the healer alone doesn't even do anything, and let's go on. By the way, this is the first of the two chevrons we're gonna do, as we're gonna get a second shiver in the moment. Uh, I would say we continue with sh Oh, I can start duplicating Haven style Hick. Should I try to duplicate this? I'm pretty sure this is not something that I should duplicate. Uh, for the memes. For the memes, I'm not allowed to. I am allowed to duplicate this though. That's weird. Well, we are done. We are doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna continue opening up the path for maybe shivs all over the place. Uh, this says, yeah, I'm gonna just take it. We got a legendary here. Adjacent helmets get plus one block, and adjacent footwork gets plus one minus block. I don't have footwork, and each turn you get block and haste. So that's gonna make a super duper duper defensive. Can be used one time each combat. Uh, if it's not the very top, you can't even use it, and add one dodge. Dodges you straight up, take zero damage, one hit, and plus three damage. Okay, we're gonna definitely fit this in exactly here so it buffs the helmets. And uh, you can be wherever. The shiv, uh, I, I would say we push everything onto the left so that we still have our setup here. This uh, floating stone, forget it, we're not gonna use it. Yeah, forget the floating stone. This, yeah, forget it, it doesn't exist. And I might as well have the inventory down there, and this is my little shiv set up over there. Uh, I would like to carry this uh, legendary and go ahead and sell it real quick. So we make money. If I bring this back, it's not going to be that important. Oh, it's rare. Well, it's disabled because I don't have it at the very top. Ah, uh, yeah, sell it. And that's gone. I need to find a rare bow, by the way. There is like a quest that I have to put in a rare bow. If I find it, I find it. If we don't, we don't. And off into the next one. I need to get more of those building boys. Floor bonus plus one. And off we go to the boss fight. And this boss fight says, uh, Rough hide, damage from projectiles is reduced by 50%, lasts until the combat ends, and power stack, when defeated, creates new enemies. Well, he did doing 20 damage, and we have 21 shielding, so we're gonna win. We're also gaining haste. Haste means each uh, source of block adds more block to us. Right now we have three, so every single source of block, which we have five off, one, yeah, this gives you block. So one, two, three, four, five things that we have all give us plus three block. Therefore, we're 99% of the time never going to be able to die here. There we go. He split. This guy's giving them haste, so they shield more. This guy's shielding them, and this guy is giving them damage. What are you about to do? Dodge to enemies. Yeah, how about you get us... Oh, this guy's a tank. Defender, anyone behind cannot be targeted. Rage will add one damage when... Uh, will uh, we get more damage when damage is taken. Yeah, whatever. This is the DPS and this guy is the defender, the buffer. So it was a it was a DPS defend buffer team. Well, irrelevant. You can just chill and vibe now. He's providing rage and whatnot. He's gone. That's what he is. Boom, boom, done. Select the common item to duplicate. I mean, this thing because we're going to Haven still stack anyway, and we won. Let's go get our reward. Which uh, new quest got unlocked, the new thing, but this time we are able to go to zone 2, so we're gonna also do that. Uh, let's take this over the shoe. That's like a common item. Actually, we have three helmets coming back, so let's throw one of them out. Let's go. This is a meta progression gem, so let's continue on. Even stack hill, here we go. Uh, quest time, I guess. Let's talk to everybody. This is new. I don't get people, I really only get fish. Fish enthusiast. How we met? Give me a fish hook. New item unlocked, a fish hook. And now you, you, you want, he wants you to bring one back, I guess. And then you fish. Give an item. Mm, oh no, I don't have fish for sure. I ain't eating that, doesn't even look like fish. Just saying hello, I don't have fish. So we got a side quest for finding fish. At Edith, I see you were cursed. It was the worst. At least I can complain about it. Curses can be cleansed with the proper light. When a cursed item is cleansed, it will be just like any other item. It can be left behind freely. Little lamp. This is when used these uh, used with these types. Curses on alternate use. Cleanses curse and is destroyed. Lantern. 
Used with these types curses on alternate use, cleanses curse when out of uses is destroyed. This is the two use anti-curse and one use anti-curse. Okay. Hope this can help you. May I ask for a favor in return? Of course, of course. The faithful had no one to be practiced here. We should build a temple. It would be also much to the humble town. Temple. A treasure generates treasure. That's it. I guess. Free troll decoration and efficient more. Holy researcher. It's a research building, so you do unlock things from that. Let's continue on. Let's continue talking to everybody in the town real quick. I opened Prada's necklace. Yes, this thing really is magic. She explained it in the note close to it. She called it the vision of danger. With a locket, you and your party can see upcoming threats. A vision of danger. Attuned to the harmony of the dungeon of the dungeon. You will now see visions of the upcoming boss. Okay, so that's a mechanic that just shows you what the boss is going to be. Not really that relevant for us. Whenever you go into a new part of the dungeon, search for a vision. The vision will show you the most powerful enemy that you will need to face. That way you can better prepare. Doesn't it say anything else that? Yeah, it held off reading it until you were back. Well, what does it say? Dear Louise in purse, I'm sorry that I disappeared. <laughs> For some reason, she knew that she's going to be a spirit. There is something I need to do. Something is changing now and there. I can feel it even at home. A deep rumbling as if there were bones. Okay, it's Aaron Jaeger, man. You gotta run. I can logically explain it, but you have to go down there and see it for yourself. Luis, I'm sorry, but we may not see each other again. Take care of press for me. Love and cherish. Pierce, even now I can see in your eyes that you're just like me. I know there will be no point in trying to stop you. And in that I say, I'll see you in the deepest point of the dungeon. So this is like made in abyss. Uh, she could be in danger. We have to go find her. First, this is just like your mother, encouraging you to take out a risk. She's been gone for over a year now. She should have written this note at any time. Could have. We can't accept that, Dad. Especially when you think about the fact that, that there might be time dilation at the very bottom. And from her time uh, point of view, it might have happened yesterday. You would have said the same thing. <laughs> Maybe we got the letter one year later. I've been complete, complaining, completing research and the town expands, you'll find many more items to research. When you get a new item in town, you'll start seeing it in the dungeon. This means that you are keeping adventuring, you start finding more and a more varied item. That's not specifically good. Uh, okay, don't care about the rest that you want to provide us with. So she just had a story to tell us. Anybody else wants anything? She? Uh, actually, I think we already talked with those. Maybe the mayor wants something. He also has a quest already. And then one more, maybe this. Oh, no, 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 this guy wants a fish. Okay, so can I see? He just wants the buildings. He just wants a tavern. Okay, let's build. The tavern needs... I mean, I can build a tavern right now. Uh, the question is, I actually, 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 I want to create more the, the things that generate building mats, which would be not farms nor houses, blacksmiths. In building materials while you are in the same barracks. Sawmill, sawmill, that's sawmill. 50 treasure. 50 treasure and 100... No. There, there are buildings that actually generate this rebuilding material. Here we go. Blacksmith. 125 building in itself. Very nice. Treasure. I don't want treasure. School. No. Tavern. Research consumables. I don't care about that. Temple. Treasure. No. Uh, let's build, I guess, pretty much forced sawmill <laughs> so let's build a sawmill up here next to another one as far as i know these do not have building needs around them oh they do somebody told me you can drag and drop nice okay can i build another one of these no it needs too much so let's build another building that is a quest building they also need too much Yep, everything needs too much. Very nice. I can build a barracks, which builds treasures. So let's actually do that. Research weapons. And it wants what around it? We also should also see what it wants around it. It needs a military decoration. So I'm gonna just build this here as that's irrelevant as of this specific moment. As I don't even have military decorations. Let's go over here, talk to this. And here we go. Like for example, if you want to get Lizard King Sword, you need to bring back two Lizard Blades and 150 coins. Lizard Blades are a 2 mana 16 damage weapon, so it's a very bad weapon, but this is a 2 mana 20 damage weapon. Adjacent weapons get minus 1 to their energy cost, this combat up to uh, 1. That's nice. Jack Cleaver. So you're telling me you changed all the animations of the cleavers and the Jack Cleaver stayed just blue? <laughs> Instead of having a J or something? Bring a cleaver, any rarity cleaver, and a lucky ring to get this thing. The above cleaver is used. The 2 mana. Yeah, this is like a combo thing going on for cleavers. Oh, if you bring back a club, which I have, we unlock the mace. Two mana deals 16, slows enemies and weaks enemies. Very nice, we build a building here. A queen cleaver needs a cleaver and an uncommon cleaver, so that's two cleavers. 
We don't have that. Spiky club. Any melee weapon, but it has... Yeah, any melee weapon plus a club. Well, I don't have another club is the issue. A lot of things here. A lot of things. A lot of things. So, it's pretty much as if you're questing, right? Like, you literally bring things back specifically to unlock specific things. You're like, okay, I want to unlock the wooden blade, so I need to bring back a wooden sword, which I had brought back at some point. I have shivs for sure. 250 coins is not what I have. Golden shiv, you know, etc, etc, etc. Let's actually do a second shiv build now. The second shiv run that I mentioned. Go of adventuring. First again. And Coral 2. So the same thing, exactly the same thing, with the difference being that now we can go to Act 2 at long last. So let's actually have a bigger run going. So we literally just begin the same run. It's going to be very similar for the beginning. A Vision of Danger. The boss is the same one with previously. Okay. Uh, we're going to just smack, 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 and smack. I can't really do anything. We have to block. That, that's it. There is literally nothing I can do. Smack, smack, smack. I take a damage. I accept it. Once again, can't really do anything. I misclicked on that, but it's okay. Boom, 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 boom. Very nice. You win. This goes up. You also go up. And we found a good old shoe hat. So that's also more armor. Let's buy that. Let's get this with us. A brick. This item is heavy. Reach adjacent or diagonal structure. Get plus one block. You know what? Let's bring this with us. And also let's have a key with us. On that, on the other hand though, dynamite. Straight up destroying a Chris. Might be safer. Let's have a dynamite. In case I get cursed again, I can just bomb it. Out of existence. We heal the life we lost. Let's go fight. Smack, smack. Dagger throw and smack. Now we do get enough defense to not really care about what opponents are doing. Smack, smack, dagger. Doesn't matter that the shield, we easily won. Nice. Oh, let's not click. Uh, I'm gonna get shivs, so we start doing damage. And we leveled up. I'm gonna go above again and below, so I can get another one of these caps. I'm gonna start going towards, I would say, like a right-ish zone over here. So get items. You go here. You go here, found another shiv, that's very lucky. And I also found a bag of treasure. It sells for 45 extra treasure and haven stack. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I uh, found a club and I also found a cleaver. Should I get a cleaver to carry it with us? I mean, for now, let's just get the club, as that's also a quest we have to do. Let's go get treasures. Another shoe hat. Um, hat, a hard hat. For each hazard below, get plus one block. I don't really have hazards. A shoe hat, I mean, I can flip this into a shoe hat. It's a shoe now. Put a shoe hat on your head and on your feet is a quest I got. So this gives us plus one block for each one above. So right now we're getting four block out of that. Let's continue. Let's see what the event's gonna have. Oh shit! Turn back, little mouse. This is my territory. Whoa, what does that smell? Why do all of you surfer dwellers say that? It's not some sort of greeting? My scent is out of a home in the bug village and I wear it with pride. Ooh, you're proud of your stink? Sorry, that was mean. Anyway, you look like you know your way around the dungeon. Do you think you could help me and my friend's haven stack kill explode deeper? Never! This is my home and you're trespassing. Leave! Yeah, you just wait for the king. Say that magic backpack you're wearing. No, it's my shell and I'm gonna show you what it can do. Let's fight! 80 damage. She's about someone pets. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna go with... Weaken her. Smack, smack, smack. And actually weaken her again. Maybe making her weak is gonna somehow protect us from what's coming in. Yep, no damage incoming. That's what she does. Power currently will flee if combat enemies remain. Yeah, we're gonna continue attacking the main boss. Smack and then smack, smack twice. Uh, it's better to go with DPS. Yeah, she's toast. Boom, 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 boom. And then boom, boom. Uh, we're gonna get damage tier for 14. That's enough because we have too much block for her to handle. And we got her. And she <laughs> She's literally dead. Whoopsie, duplicate something. Would have liked to have bricks. I would have built a brick broad. Um, I guess a dagger. Oh, you knocked some of my dirt off. I knew it. I told you it's a magic backpack. You know, you're actually kind of cute. Whoop, here we go. Underneath all that grime. Come get back still hell with me. You can blah, blah, blah. With our backpacks and your knowledge to the dungeon, we could reach some of the deepest parts. No, thanks. I'm just going to roll around the mud for a little here. You, you real? You real now? I guess, yeah. She's like, nope. Okay, fair enough. What is this? A new enemy. Dove Beacon. You will get 7 XP for this guy. Yeah, whatever, let's kill the Dove Beacon then. Smack him. Boom, 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 boom. Smack again. Pass. I would really like to do a brick build, actually. Forget the shivs. The shivs are damaged, though. Here we continue with the shivs. Get item. Nice. And <laughs> just like that, we got bricks. Nice. Diamond Cleaver. Deals 2 damage when a cleaver kills a non-summoned enemy. 
deals two damage, and when it, it kills, it gives you one coin. That's what I meant to. Uh, okay, I obviously don't need the dynamite. Let's build the building. And I would say let's throw away the shoe hat for it. The dagger stays. How much defense is this? Four block. This is four block. These are two block, two block, and two block. So this triple item choice here, each brick is two block. It seems this item, this this item choice here is six block. It's it's four by four, it's two by two, and it's six block provided. Provided. Uh, let's throw away the dagger. Honestly, I want to do this building build. And uh, the cleaver is cool and all, but let's actually go. Can I make sure that this assassinates? Nah, let's just go. I could carry the Creeper along with me just for specifically being able to uh, get the quest. Go, you guys attack us. Nice, dagger dead. Boom, boom, boom. The quest being that, bring back a Cleaver for the Queen Cleaver. I mean, Cleaver builds are the most busted build in this game in general. Uh, should I duplicate the, these things and start going for it? I don't think I can, yeah. I could start going for Brick Build. Let's try Brick Build. Level up. Okay, we're gonna go over here so we can brick, uh, create the bricks. That's gonna be my building zone. Get items, this is the brick, boom. So this now provides us with one block. Yeah, it's not like I can do anything about it. Maybe if I have this here, this is more. Three block, two block, two block, and one block. Yeah, I think this is more. Uh, we have a fish for that other guy. Let's get the fish so that we bring it over to that boy. I got another can be only used one time item. This is three damage to everybody. That's a three spotter, it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, three damage to everybody is more damage than six damage to one unit. But the thing is, I might find something that powers them up. I, I need to find something that powers them up, honestly. Otherwise, I could do a Machado build, but I don't want to do a Machado build right now. Let's go here. Okay, the money boy. Uh, smack, smack, dagger, 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 and then we start going for the explosion because this thing is gonna explode in a moment. Ah, it's gonna take two turns for it to explode, it's not gonna survive. We're doing 5 damage from the cleaver, 10 damage from the cleavers, and another 9 plus 9, 18 damage from this. So right now we're doing 29 DPS. I wouldn't say it's really insane, but it is something. It's honest work, as the meme goes. Uh, I start believing we should forget the building build. Or the... Um, or these are just gonna leave. Get items. Mm, forget the fish quest. I can do the fish quest at another time. Have Carry at least five structures, it says. Nice, here we go. We got the structures. Mm, nothing really else to see. I would say. Yeah, nothing really else to see. Let's go on. We're gonna next get another clear. Nice, we got the mats. Plus the building for the food and ten treasury. Oh, look at this. The whole map is open. Uh, let's get XP. Nice. Let's get event. Okay, six guesses. Is this a curse? Matroshka. Chris Matroshkas. In MTG, this is a curse. Oh, let's hope I'm not gonna roll the curse. Okay, I didn't roll the curse. What is this? A living rock. Projectile can be moved in combat. Moves forward one space each turn. And deals three damage to all enemies each turn. And if this cannot move, it hurts and deals five damage to self. So this is a one... Ma a zero mana deals three damage every turn to everything, but you have to spend one mana every X amount of turns to move it back to its place. Okay, so Matroshka's over there. What is this? Mechanized toy for zero cost can be used one time each combat at three rage for each space that destroyed items occupied. So this is a four by four that destroys literally everything, gives you a bunch of range. Rage. Go here and here. I don't want this by the way, that's why I skipped it. Pickaxe legendary. A one mana. A on kill. Creates a gem. On use, deals one damage. For each turn. For each turn. For each adjacent gem, it gets plus one damage to this combat. This is insane. So this, if you have like, let's say five gems, this turn one is gonna do six damage. Turn two, it's gonna do 11 damage. And it's gonna just scale up and up. I'm going for the pickaxe if we are able to do so. We're gonna maybe switch over to that. It's not the shift build. If I can get the pickaxe. Here we go. Got it. So that's part of the build now. And we found a gem even. Adjacent shield gets plus one spikes to self. Adjacent weapons get minus one damage. Okay, we found that too, I guess. And we also find a volatile potion. 50-50 on getting that. I didn't get it. It is what it is. So, uh, adjacent shields, whatever. I don't think so. The time has come. Transitioning the build over to a pickaxe build. We throw out the building build completely. Uh, this can be here. Minus minus one damage to weapons though. And minus shields. I don't have shields. Forget this. This may be the one thing I should not have with us. 
and maybe this gem should be here. So this right now does zero, but it's gonna do one turn one, and then two turn two, and turn three turn three, and whatever. Uh, let's go fight. So I need to get a kill right now with this pickaxe, and this guy is cursing us. We're gonna kill the curse boy first. There you go. This does one damage. Yeah, this does one damage. Boom, boom. I had survived. We're gonna get curse number three, which is pretty bad. Uh, let's take 12 damage because I'm not gonna accept the curse. I'm at 11 life. We're most likely gonna die. And it has one life. Kill. Get the gem. It's the same stupid gem. Uh, I guess here. At least it's gonna scale this thing damage up slowly. Uh, smack to remove its energy. Pass its damage, that is. Is it scaling? It does 3 damage now. So smack, smack. Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, it's gonna survive. I don't have specs anyway. Zero damage. Now this does 5 damage, so we're gonna go bring him down to 4. And smack for a gem. Give me a good one. Thank you. Plus 3 damage, gem. Finish organizing. And now this thing actually gains damage. And we're gonna go he- Oh, this is uncommon. Well, that's bad. Uh, I guess the shoe. Get items. Now I would say the club goes and the shoe joins. And actually, it, sh it joins as a boot. Because this is 4 block, as it is plus 1 block reach above. This is 3 block flat. And um, I guess we're also going to go with a good old poison everybody up in the opponent's side. Maybe a tunic here in the middle. And we completely forego the shift build. The the, sh the shift build is going to get forgone, guaranteed anyway. What are you selling? Adjacent weapons gives plus one poison but minus one damage. That's straight up damage. This is straight up more damage because poison is more damage than the normal damage. But I don't want this thing to get poison damage. I do want common gems. This is rare. 20 coins for rare gem. It's definitely better than the spike shing thing. So let's throw the spikes thing out. I can even sell the spike thing here. Uh, I don't want to spell this on this guy. Yeah, I think we're good to go. <laughs> the whole point. Let's go healing. And we're gonna fight there. Nice, we healed for 5. That's gonna save us. <laughs> My shielding right now is 15. 15 shielding is good enough. This needs to die guaranteed. Do I even do enough damage for that to die? I'm gonna see right now. It's doing 5 damage. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, we didn't kill it. So we're gonna get damaged very heavily here. We might even lose. Uh, I cannot take the damage, so I'm forced to pick these up. So this says creates goo in adjacent spaces at each turn, and then when destroyed, destroys all adjacent hazards. So we're gonna go here and forcefully here. Okay, that thing's dead. Uh... We're going to press this to remove all the curses. And we're going to go for the bat. Uh, actually, I want to get kills with this. Uh, these two are not doing enough damage to pierce our shielding, so we're going to get a kill here for the gem. Ooh, this is a really good gem. Plus four damage to adjacent. Uh, I would say it once here, but we're going to go here to so boost that right now. We're going to do reorganize in a moment. And uh, how much damage does this do? Eight. Boom, got another gem. Plus three damage. It goes here. Nice, and this now scales very fast. Now it does 12 damage. Now its baseline is higher, so everything's gonna be higher. That does 15. Oof. Oh, another one of those good ones. Uh, Shiv, the time has come for you to leave. Duplicate something. This, 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 itself. Uh, I guess... The cap. Level up. Okay, I would say we go definitely one here to put something around it. And this should go one spot up, by the way. Wait a minute. If this goes one spot, step up, then it should be here, here. Right? Because we want things below it, too. So that's two. And then I would say one more here. I have... Or maybe even here. Because of the shoe hats. And I'm gonna duplicate one of these. It's gonna go there. And I think we're good. Go. Get items. What is this? Box of nails. Sells for eight extra... Things on a stay in heaven stack. Yes. So you go up. You go here. This goes here. So it hits the pickaxe and it hits the shiv. Right. This goes here. Not that I don't have a better spot for it otherwise. Actually, no, it goes here. This goes like that. So this now is also boosting us for three. Three. This goes here. Therefore, it gets the boost. Switch these. This looks up. This is poison over damage. And the rest is history. So right now this thing has 14 base damage, right? 14 base damage. And then it also gets plus one damage for the rest of the combat. Not the turn, for the combat. It gets plus four da five damage. It scales five damage each turn. We're going to get a heal here. This heals for 10 and then you destroy it and throw it away. Let's uh, XP. XP is always the play in my opinion. You want a bigger bag no matter what happens. 
go to the next fight. Anything we have that we want to sell? Not really. Let's go, boss time. Look at us getting mats. Plus two from the floor bonus. Plus eight from the floor bonus. Let's go, look at this. Look at this. Nice. This is the boss. It's just skill damage for Y. I don't know why it's skill damage. We're gonna drink and throw a thing at it. We're about to get 19 damage, although we have an 18 shield. Can't do anything about it. Smack, 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 smack. And this is doing 19 damage right now per smack. Okay, we got a kill and we got a gem. This gem is a bad gem. Oh, this is rare. I could theoretically sell it. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. And the turn, we're gonna get not damage, not anything. And now this thing is doing how much damage? 24. So we go shiv, 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 shiv. Your shield is gone. 24. What is this? Crystal Gauntlet. It's a gem glove armor. Adjacent melee weapons get plus 3 damage. What? Um, I mean, it's too big. Uh, this this does not fit. I'm sorry. Skip it. Uh, it's, it's as if it's my fault. I'm saying sorry here. That's 24 damage. And we have more mana. So let's get another one. Another rare gem is here. Honestly, I would say no to that. I just want to find my good gems. Uh, I also realize that I've made a mistake as to where the shivs are placed. D done. And we got a floating gem for plus one damage. I can place that there. So I'm gonna place this here in case something goes right exactly. I'm not allowed to actually place it in a spot where I can use it. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to use my shoe, shoe hats. I need to duplicate something. Once again, the gems are not really duplicatable. Let's get, I guess, another one of those. I should have duplicated that. Mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Would have, should, should have duplicated. I, I could not have done that anyway, so not a big mistake. The choices are... Uh, we got boss relics. So the choices are bombstone, one energy, weapon behind, get 500% damage permanently, weapons behind this are used, weapons behind this are destroyed. <laughs> so this is you use a weapon once, it explodes for five times damage, and that's it. For every 40 coins you have, which have 47 off, get plus one energy. Each turn adds energy. When you take damage, you lose gold. Oh, this is really, really, really powerful. And this is minus three energy to the cost of reorganizing in combat. But when you reorganize, you uh, it's disabled for one turn. Oh, that's actually nice. So reorganize costs zero. That's what it says. That's cool. But I'm going to say let's get the plus one energy and we lose some money if I get damaged. Because this is straight up good. Throw away the shiv, finish choosing. I wouldn't really say I want the leather cap. I'm okay with the three shieldy boys here. So we're gonna go to the parcel. We're gonna talk to the parcel. Uh, we're gonna tell him you take this and this and send it up. Uh, I guess also send this. There is no downside to getting rid of that. I'm not gonna use it. Okay. And let's go heal to full health. For 25, if I want to, uh, I would say, yeah, let's go with that. So we are good with the run. I do enjoy that you can actually spend money here. What is this? A lucky robot toy. Projectile conductor. For each connected mana stone, which I have zero off, it does two damage. For each turn, deals one damage to all enemies. So this is just the one damage to all enemies. Hard drink for five max health, might as well. Get one spike, might as well. Six percent to everybody, might as well. And what are the choices here? Exit to Enhanced Swamp, exit to the Deep Cave. I guess let's go Deep Cave. The quest does not tell me where to go, right? Nope. What is this? Whoop, I opened... Oh, I just took some screenshots. I don't think the quest says what I'm supposed to do. So let's just go to the Deep Cave. It's locked. Nope, we have the key for it. Can I go to the other one? I don't have the key for it. Okay, fair enough. So nice to know that you can unlock stuff. Plus 10 here and then plus 4. Nice. Gaining free stuff. I would say let's first fight. Ed Executioner. He is about to get four spikes. That's bad. Attack him as fast as we can. 19, 19, 19, and dead. And we got a gem, the Floto Boy. I did the mistake here of not reorganizing. Uh, oh, we can do it here though. Nice. And duplicate something. Uh, never mind. I guess this. Get the items. This is common, right? Yeah, this is common, but it floats. So it's going to force us into throwing it away. Let's flip this so I can put the floaty boy over there. Forget this dagger, by the way. I don't care about it. Let's go with AoE. Find another gem. Find another shoe hat. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it here. And if I don't enjoy whatever we get out of the gem, uh, if I do enjoy the gem, I'm going to throw away the shoe hat. 
let's continue on. Let's see if the valuables has anything that we would like to get from it. Not really. Not really. Let's see what the shop's selling. I want to sell some uh, stuff to get 80 coins, so I have more energy from this thing. So I'm not going to buy anything. Let's see what we got here. Maybe a rare, maybe an epic. A moth bomb. Replace with new moth bomb. On use, deals 1 damage and is destroyed. Each turn gets plus 4 damage for the combat. On kill, replace with a new one. So the idea is you just keep it on you for as long as you possibly can, and then it explodes. Kotobik What? Kotoribako. Must be played on an item. When you turn ends, deals 2 damage to self. On use, item this is played on are destroyed. Disable for rest of this. What? Oh, this is a curse. Nice. We got a curse. Very nice. Tasty fly is a rare, but we can't really sell it. It's uh, It makes the shop be cheaper. Well, we got a curse. That's one thing. Let's get an uncommon to sell in the shop. Let's get an uncommon to sell in the shop. So we'll go shopping. Yeah, I got the curse. So we carry that with us. Here you go. I got six coins for a common. That's good to know for an uncommon. Let's also see what the boss is going to be. It's going to be a panda. We're going to skip on. Oh my. Buy food. No, thank you. Let's go to the fight. Busy enough. We have the most broken thing here. 21 damage incoming. Boom, boom, boom. And then we go one and two. You're toast. And you just give us a rare gem that we're going to sell for sure. And boom, and boom, and ah, you actually survived. Oh no, you didn't damage us. And we're going to kill one, two. Easy. And we got a common one. Theoretically, I should b bring the commons in and actually throw away the shivs. Uh, but even if I do that, they don't really, really fit. Maybe I should like reorganize completely. Yeah, so I'll skip it. Duplicate something. Uh, skip that too. Get items. I'm gonna bring you over here. Yeah, the Chris is gonna carry you with us forever. Floaty boy, no. Anything rare. Common? Uncommon? Nah, let's just go. So I'm gonna go back to the shop. I'm gonna sell the rare. Yes. Where's the rare jump? Here you go. Boom. He gave us 10 coins for that. The moment I hit 40 coins, we get a lot of damage. You know what? Let's get rid of the ships, by the way. I, he, he doesn't want more items. Fair enough. Let's go event. See what we can get out of that. I'm stupid. The event is the shopping boy. Let's go XP gain. Let's go money gain. Nice, I'm at 76. So the next money game we're going to get is going to bring us, give us plus one energy. Gain a bunch of resources and gain even more resources on top of that. It's a bit lagging, by the way. These animations are very simplistic. I don't know why they're lagging. One damage to everybody because of the machinery. Boom, dead. And we got the one of the very good gems. The plus four damage gem. I'm going to throw it here right away. Boom. That now gave us crazy damage. 25. Boom, dead. Then float a boy. Let's put it there. And then boom. We don't have energy. <laughs> yeah, you hit us and then you die. Boom, boom, dying. And what is this? When an adjacent item kills a non-summon enemy, heal eight. Nice. That's actually really good. Is this legendary? I duplicate the shoe hat, whatever. I level up. An actual level up. Nice. So I would say... I'm thinking what exactly we want to be doing. I'm thinking the Floto boys need us to have room. So I'm thinking we go like one, two, three and push this whole thing to their left. So I can have one more Floto boy right here. Because right now this is, for example, a non Floto boy. I'm going to try this. And if it's a correct decision or not, we're going to see. So you all go to the left. And you go over here. You can go over here. And this goes here. Uh, this is still hitting there. Let's also put the gem there. This says when an adjacent item kills a non-enemy, heal 8. So we got a healing 8 right now connected to this. This is still doing the damage. That's why it's here. Flip these. So the shiv also gets the damage from that. Actually, the shiv also gets the damage from here. Same thing. Does this do damage, by the way? No, this is an accessory. It's not a weapon. Yeah, this is 100% surrounded. This is, says connected. Yeah, each turn for each adjacent gem. So this is a 100% adjacent bonus active. So we just need more perils because the perils work from afar. Like if I find another citrine, I'm going to put the peril here and the citrine here. Right? So that, that's like the idea as to what we want to be doing. Uh, the curse is going to carry us forever, as we said. I guess I can have it on us. When your turn ends, deal damage. No, no, no. We're going to never, ever, ever pick this up, ever. Just just, just get what the random items we can find and go. Actually, let's, let's go with the food. This food is plus two energy food, which is really powerful. Uh, let's leave the heal there. 
Okay, there was a crazy vampire. Let's go for the vampire first. Boom, 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 done. And we got the rare gem, that's money. I would say let's throw away the, the Rose of Thorns. Let's also get rid of you, boom. And we got another healing gem. This is legendary, so this is a lot of money. So we're gonna sell the ship for that. And we'll pass. Opponent tries to do something, another legendary. Weapon this column, get 200% damage, and then this thing is destroyed. I could take this, but I don't think it's worth it. And we got another legendary gem. Uh, I would like this to go over the this thing. Actually, no, 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 over this thing. I never used the food in the first place. And duplicate something. I guess a boot hat, whatever. You can go here. You can flip. Switch these. Still gives damage. Still get the curse. And I got the thing for the Haven Stack Hill. I mean, Haven Stack Hill stuff is the most important stuff anyway. So let's take that. And there is a shop here. Let's go sell the gems I'm not going to be using for money. So this gives us how much coins? A 17. Another 17. So 120 is the cutoff point for the damage boost we gain. And let's also sell this, why not? 136. So the next damage boost, uh, the next coin boost from this ore right now. Right now it's giving us three energy. I, it needs to go up to 160 for it to give us even more energy. But we have so much energy gain from that thing now that nothing really matters. Oh, there is a locked chest. That's a thing. I did not know that's a thing. Okay, you're instantly dead, I would assume. Nice. We got another legendary gem. Now you're gonna do the curse, so you're next in order. And what is this? Flame gem. Adjacent weapons get plus to burn. That's good. And continue smacking. So we're gonna switch these two. That guy summoned. Big mistake. Poison gem, okay. Smack and uh, duplicate something. I guess another hat boot, which we're not gonna even get. Continue getting the curse. What is this? This item is used in Haven Stack. We're gonna use that for sure. We're doing so much damage, it doesn't matter if I'm switching stuff here. Now, once again, as I said, the pearls are going to be the ones that are going to be as far away as possible from everything. Because we want the rest to be connected. Minus one damage, plus one poison. No, let's uh, go. Mario will be like another curse. Nice, we avoided that. Another curse, let's avoid that on purpose. A cornucopia, this is very important to get. Okay, we're searching for the cornucopia now. Got it, nice. Uh, it's here, but I'm going to open up the rest to see where what is. And we found another sword that's legendary. Nice. I cannot really sell this. Deals 9 damage on kill, deals 8 damage to all enemies. A <laughs> jagged blade. I'm gonna go here, Concopia. Sells for 25 extra food in Haven Stack Hill. I would say we get rid of defense. Because we're doing so much damage and we have so much healing, it doesn't even matter. Right? We have like 16 healing on kill. This is 24 damage. Max, max, dead. And we got another Citrine. Citrine is more damage than the Floto Boy. Boom, boom, done. And poison is... Poison I would say we don't need. And now we actually smack. This guy's gonna dodge. Obviously he's not gonna survive that much. Boom, and he's done. <laughs> Another poison, I wouldn't say that's important. And duplicate something. Cornucopia is not possible. I guess this thing. Good items. The curse continues following us. So this needs to go there. So it gets the boost. This is a legendary item. I mean, I think the old coins are better than the legendary item. The legendary item right now is doing one damage, yeah, but let's do the swap. Now I would say we just go here. Yeah, I'm 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 literally not using defense anymore. So what we get out of this? Add some items, whatever, who cares? Let's go get money over treasure. Boom, 153. And let's get another treasure, see what it's selling. I cannot sell more stuff to the shop, by the way. Oh, it's a key. I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about it. Let's go fight the boss. Should be easy enough. We are very, very, very powerful and we're scaling very, very fast. So unless we just die in two turns, we will die and we will win. Yeah, we're doing 3D damage right now. Boom, 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 boom. 3D damage and it's over, man. We already got him half health. Right now it's 3D damage. Do you know what's going to be now? Boom. Now it's 38 damage. Doesn't matter. We're going to just kill the boss. Done. And we even got a gem, a legendary gem that is. So I'm going to do a swap with a common hat. So we carry a legendary with us at the very end when we go back to the base. Nice. Uh, never mind on the duplicate. Done and done, right? Yeah, let's go get the quest reward. Here we go. It's a good old Lost Sparks. Let's throw away the common, sa saf the common uh, sapphire we have. And let's leave with the perfect pickaxe build. Although I wanted to do a shift build, but it's actually a perfect pickaxe build. It is what it is. Uh, Matthew, what do you want? Rich of bringing so much back. The people in order, thank you. There are still more areas to unlock. Do you have lost sparks for me? Research. Up oh, here we go. Let's actually give him two sparks. 
for the key. Done. Yeah, I've conquered the crypt several times. I am impressed. Back when I carried the backpack too, I explored there. But I also knew another path. When you first eat, uh, enter the dungeon, be alert. There is another way that avoids the crypts. The bramble is unlocked. The bramble has like more uh, spikes and weird hazards over the deep caves. Deep caves is an easier area. You can instead travel through the bramble if you want to. And I think that's going to be it for today, right? Let's see video-wise how long this video is. Uh, what recording that is. Oh, 50 minutes. I think we're good here. Uh, thank you for using the delivery server item that I brought back. We're already stored in your inventory. If you open your backpack in town, you should see them everywhere I bought. Also, loyal customers, you're in the void. Store things inside. They can be used, though. Pouch, what? Store things inside. They can't be used, though. Ah, an accessory, a new thing. So this is room within room. This is godlike as an item if you find it inside the zone. Because that means that you can... This is mostly for treasures, right? Like, this is most likely one spotter. Yeah, this is one spotter, as you see over here. So this one spotter, I think, is a nine spotter in itself. So it makes one into nine. But those nine, because they are not usable, you just throw in the treasure. So this is a godlike item, literally. I really hope that you start with that in every single thing, but I'm not sure you do. You just hope to find it, and the moment you find it, you just pick it up instantly. So you're the one who's been rebuilding him and stuff. I hardly believe it until I saw my own eyes. Let me introduce myself. I'm in my film. This, this guy looks like the mayor, not the other guy. They call me Stumpy. Overall, the patrol activities. If you have any help, give a holler. I'm making sure the barracks are in order. Okay, that's the barracks boy. Uh, I think we're pretty much done for now. For today. Uh, now, tomorrow I'm most likely going to play another game. Because... I mean, because... I, I, I'm seeing the metrics. This is the second day. I'm looking at what's the first, how the first video is going. I, didn't, I don't think people care about Backpack Hero this much anymore. The, the game is enjoyable and chill. Maybe I should do a live stream on it. You know, instead of actually playing these videos, I could do a live stream and just do as many dungeons as possible and we could be chatting a bit and could be more relaxed and then the editor could come in and, you know, get the video out for anybody who cares about the videos themselves. Maybe that's what I should do. So for now, I'm gonna put a pin on this. I would say I'm gonna start playing a couple of other games from tomorrow on. So hopefully you guys are excited to see something new. And um, yeah, after that, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how exactly I'm gonna handle what. So yeah, as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you guys. Oh, by the way, don't forget to drop subscriptions and likes and whatnot helps out a lot. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.